What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new NDL War of the Week. We got Chronos, we got YOLO mode, let's do it. Alright guys, here we go, Chronos versus YOLO mode here in week 7, the final, 97 to 92, Chronos walking away with a 5 star victory, bringing their regular season record to 7-0, that now brings YOLO mode, this is their first loss of the season, ending the regular season at 6-1. And uh, Chronos also winning uh, just shy of 2% in Total Destruction. Make sure you stay tuned for the remainder of the video. I have some incredible attacks to show you guys this war. We'll go ahead and take a look at the map. Uh, YOLO mode, uh, we'll go over their stats. They did have 7 10v10 triples. For those of you keeping score at home, the breakdown was 5-15-15. Again, they had seven 10v10s, and their Talon Nines actually did better than Chronos. Their Talon Nines hit at an incredible 75%. They did go 15 for 20 on the Town Hall Nines. We will take a look at one of their 10v10s a little later, but clearly right off the bat, you can see the difference in the war maps. Uh, Yolo Mode unfortunately did not have an 11v11 three star. Chronos, however, did have two. We'll take a look at the hit on number three a little later. And again, uh, they did have 10, 10 v 10 three stars. They're Talon 9s. Even though YOLO mode uh, did better Talon 9s hitting at 75%, uh, Chrono's still uh, hitting at 68% for their Town Hall 9s, providing them with all kinds of scouts. And again, this was a 35 v 35 uh, war. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the hit right here on number here it is on number 29 uh we have dasher going up against gia uh giama uh doing a queen charge lolo uh yeah so as we let this play we always got we always got to give love to the town nines we'll show you guys this town nine we're gonna look at four 10v10 three stars and that 11 v 11 triple at the very end and i'm gonna share with you guys one of yolo modes 10v10s wait till you guys see the uh, one of their 10 v 10s it was absolutely insane definitely stay tuned for that uh, but the way this war uh, shaped out yolo mode came out firing out of the gate the first six hours of war they were already ahead 5-0 as far as 10 v 10s go uh, so definitely came out of the gate really hot uh chronos all up to the, the last attack of this war ended in a 10 v 10 three star but again uh, stay tuned, we'll be showing you guys four of their triples, and again, that one of their 11 v 11 three stars. But before we get into that, we have Dasher taking on Giama with this Queen Charge Lalo. There is a Hound coming out of the CC, we'll go ahead and fast forward uh, through that, as the Queen's just going to be beating through the Hound and the Pups. You already see he did get a nice wall break uh, that's going to open him up to these two air defenses where his Queen will be charging in. And he will be starting his Lalo on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. So we'll show you guys uh, how this uh, flight portion went. So here you go, dropping down one loon, hoping to get any Seeking Air Mines. There were not any, hoping that he'd pick up a Seeking Air Mine with a loon as opposed to a healer. But Queen charging ar uh, already charged those two air defenses over there at 3 o'clock. And here comes the flight portion, dropping down a CC Hound. Still has one more Camp Hound to deploy. There it goes. And just dropping anywhere from two to four loons uh, per defense. Nice rage in that Island Expo compartment uh, where there were two Teslas on the backside. A nice haste over the wizard tower and the archer tower and nice split uh he got a nice split on those loons taking out those two air defenses and right here when the queen took out the tesla he knew that the loons were going to be pathing left that's why he went ahead and dropped it his haste over there uh they're gonna go ahead they're still in the haste go ahead and take out the wizard tower the archer tower the last defense to go down guys is going to be uh that wizard tower up there at about 2.30. Started clean up nice and early with the minions. Also had the pups clean. A Bogia. Look at this attack, you guys. Uh, the way he breaks the sound. Wait till you guys see uh, how he breaks this base down right here. Kind of a funky base layout, too. Uh, so right here, 
dropping down one giant to help tank uh, for the queen. Uh, he goes ahead and takes out the mortar, takes out the archer tower, goes ahead and takes out the Tesla. Uh, what he's basically doing here is just going to sui his queen to take out the BK. And he's also going to get that bomb tower uh, once Snake goes ahead and pops ability. So being nice and patient right here. So here goes Queen steps up, takes out the bomb tower, pops ability, easily going to get king right there. And we do know that there is a hound loon uh, in the clan castle. This was a cleanup attack. So right here, dropping down wiz uh, wizard on each army camp just to set the funnel. Uh, Valk's going right, king going left. And here goes the wall breakers right in between those two Teslas. And right here, uh, the enemy queen is in fact going to hop over the wall, uh, goes ahead and pops king ability and again uh, coupled with those three valkyries no chance that the queen survives that even uh or actually was just i thought he got the expo uh the expo only has a couple hp uh left on it and here we go here comes the hogs he's got 33 hogs plus cc hogs there they go um and wondering how he funneled this it was, it was crazy how he funneled this base he is bringing five heal spells and he does have one poison uh still left to deploy he'll be using that on the ground skellies uh but he went real heavy on the top and the bottom at three o'clock where the hogs kind of met up in the middle on that inferno tower they're already making their way through the core meeting up on the second inferno tower he's going to get a nice split where he does still have two more heal spells he'll drop one down at the bottom over the cannon and the wizard tower and one at the top over the bomb tower and the archer tower even catches uh the edge of that tesla where those hogs will still uh, be inside that heal spell. They're going to go ahead and get healed up. And right here, they're going to both converge on this wizard tower. The wizard tower favors the bottom group. And here comes the top group. Even though they hit a spring trap, has plenty of hogs to get through this base. And he already started clean up nice and early with the wizard. Still has a goblin and a few hogs up as well. Beautiful attack by Snake, the fearless leader over here in Kronos. All right, guys. Next up, we have... Omniscient gonna be taking on Sasori over on the YOLO mode side and with an epic Sui Hero Lolo. Yes, this is still a thing. I'm telling you guys, uh, most of the 10v10 three stars on the Chrono side were coming with Lolo. We know a lot of people have been favoring hogs uh, 10v10, but Chronos is sticking to their guns, doing a lot of Lolo and having a lot of success with it. Uh, first thing I noticed when I saw this attack is that there are no wall breakers. He's, he's not really trying to sui his heroes deep inside of the base. Uh, he's going to get enough value from right over the wall. You'll see he's already taken out uh, three point defenses. Uh, Queen is actually in range of that expo from over the wall. All the more reason that there were not wall breakers needed for this attack. We'll just go ahead and speed through uh, the town hall. So there we go. Uh, starting this Volo, notice he dropped one pack of loons to target the Inferno Tower. The other pack of loons went ahead and targeted the Wizard Tower. Nice two finger drop over there on the bottom right and bottom left at six o'clock. Uh, two raid spells are gonna go ahead and bring all these loons right there into the core where he goes ahead and drops down his skeleton spells to take out the enemy queen. Uh, and there goes the second one. So right here, loons are still raged up inside the core. Good value from that heal spell covering the wizard tower and a couple of the point defenses uh, inside the core, bringing a couple more loons in over on the upper left-hand side to target the wizard tower to distract it, where some more loons were hasted in to take it out. Uh, this base is pretty much completely gone with the archer tower being the last defense to go down up at the top of the map. And again, started... Uh, clean up nice and early with some minions also has a bunch of pups to help out we'll go ahead and speed through this beautiful attack by omniscient doing a classic sui hero lolo and not bringing any wall breakers all right next up we're gonna be checking out another lolo uh from hinsi this one's actually going to be a queen charge lolo uh where he's going to go ahead and start his queen off at 11 o'clock which he's just trying, gonna get good value taking out these uh, two archer towers right here. And he will be breaking into the nine o'clock compartment. Uh, and he is gonna be uh, in range of this BK, but you'll, you'll notice he drops down a poison spell. Uh, the only point defense that's on his queen is actually the damage coming from that archer tower. So there's no need for a rage and no need uh, to pop her ability. He can go ahead and say that a little later on in the attack. 
Okay, so King is finally down and just being really, really patient. Uh, it, and this is an attack where he can start his Lalo a little later. He is bringing 12 minions to this attack. So cleanup is going to go very quickly once he starts the flight portion. First um, wall break, or the first layer, already broke right here at nine o'clock. Uh, once, uh, once the queen is taking out the enemy CC troops and, be, and distracting that wizard tower, goes ahead and drops down another group of wall breakers while they were under that rage, goes ahead and pops the second layer. So he's already done uh, two layers. Um, he's already busted two layers of walls uh, where Queen is gonna get access to that air sweeper. Uh, which is going to be huge because that's where he's going to be starting his Lalo from. Uh, and once this clan castle goes down, check out. Guys, wait till you see this ability. Queen was being targeted by the Arch Tower and the Single Shot Inferno Tower. Under ability, takes out enemy Queen and the Inferno Tower. Flight portion starting off at the top of the map. Where he's going to go ahead and drop down one hay spell catching both groups of loons. They're going to collapse on the uh, on the air defense. A second haste leading that group of loons to the Inferno Tower and the Expo brought in some more loons over here at three o'clock where he goes in and drops down a heal spell as there was a wizard tower there. Followed up by a rage spell and he drops down one loon to distract the Tesla. Um, probably want to get the wizard tower but at the end of the day it's not going to matter. He had way too many loons up. Look at how many loons he has left in this raid and like i said the cleanup goes very quickly with not only 12 minions uh but with all of those pups as well beautiful uh double layer wall break from hinzi on that queen charge lalo absolutely loved it okay we have another unique attack we're calling this one the golden shower we have seen this attack um more and more frequently uh under this new meta You'll see right here he is getting kind of a two for one trade with this bowler bounce uh, as he is going to get both those gold mines to help with the funnel. Goes ahead and drops down king and soon behind him he goes ahead and drops down queen. There she goes. And also on this attack he's not bringing any wall breakers. He's going to get more than enough uh, from what he needs uh, from suing his heroes down here. He's going to go ahead and take out um, not only a few defenses but the most important thing is that enemy BK. But for those of you wondering, well, how's he gonna get the Archer Queen? She's right there uh, in the core. Uh, notice he is, uh, Fierce is bringing two skeleton spells, one of his own, one maxed, donate in the clan castle. Gonna go ahead and pretty much spam all of his hogs down here at the bottom at six o'clock, followed up by the CC hogs. Uh, so he had 41 plus seven, a total of 48 hogs he's bringing to this attack. And notice he went ahead and, draw, uh, went ahead and saved 10 hogs for over here at the far right hand side at three o'clock to kind of cut off the funnel. And you'll notice um, with more or less a dead core with the clan castle and the archer queen there, the hogs are gonna be pathing around this base counterclockwise. Uh, and again, bringing five heal spells uh, to pretty much, I mean, with the defenses that the heroes took out, the only defenses left, you'll see he pretty much can cover every last defense with the remaining heal spells. That's why we're calling this one uh, the Golden Shower. Still has plenty of hogs up. Last heal spell to go down. Uh, the, only, the only defense that's pretty much out of range of that heal spell is the cannon and the wizard tower. But again, he has way too many hogs up. Went ahead and started clean up nice and early uh, with some wizards. And just like that, guys, uh, this base is completely smushed. Very nice attack, too fierce, showing us how to do the golden shower. Okay, guys, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, Chronos did have two 11 11 triples, but for the sake of time, uh, we are going to be showing the attack on number three. And for those of you um, watching this from the YOLO mode side or are fans of YOLO mode, uh, also, like I said in the beginning, we will be showing one of YOLO mode's insane 10v10 attacks. So definitely stay tuned for that. That'll be following this attack right here. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing right here, I know we've been seeing a lot of 11 11 three stars using the queen walk uh, bitch attack. Uh, this one gonna be doing a queen charge Lolo. If you guys notice over there at nine o'clock, you have that long compartment right there, pretty much going from nine o'clock all the way up to 12. That is what he wants to break his queen into.
or he'll be breaking his queen in a little sooner than that, but that's where he wants his queen to path up there where he can go ahead and take out some splash damage and take out all kinds of point defenses, take out the enemy queen. And uh, this is going to, wait till you guys, this is insane um, how Spartan takes out the core of this base, but more specifically the Eagle Artillery. So right there underneath the lab, he went ahead and dropped down a few wall breakers to go ahead and pop that wall. Uh, Queen was getting a little low on health, went ahead and dropped a Rage. Again, not only raging the healers, but also raging the Queen so she can beat through that defenses that much quicker. Uh, and again, being nice and patient. But wait till you guys, wait till you guys see, he's already set the funnel for this King Bowler Kill Squad. He is heading straight in to where the Eagle Artillery is, where he's gonna go ahead and drop a Rage for this mini kill squad uh, to take out the entire core, uh, but more specifically that Eagle Artillery, um, and also setting up a nice defense path for the flight portion of this attack, which has um, already started down at six and over at three o'clock, dropping down a few um, balloons per defense. Hound's doing an awesome job tanking as they're hovering right over that air defense, taking damage from the archer from the archer tower and from the expo. And you'll and you also notice he still has quite a bit of defenses to get through. He only has one more rage spell, but if you look closely, he went ahead and dropped kind of a runway of haste spells as all the defenses are in that long column right there. Again, being very patient with his rage spell. There it goes, gonna get a nice loon split. Uh, the only two defenses left that can really do any harm is the Inferno Tower and the Air Defense. Air Defense is down. He has plenty of loons to pretty much one shot. Uh, that Inferno Tower even managed to have a few bowlers survive that attack as well. Beautiful attack from Spartan with the Queen Charge Lalo, but adding a little bit more spice using that King Bowler Kill Squad, absolutely loved it. All right guys, now we're gonna go ahead and check out this insane 10v10. I'm telling you guys, wait until you see how uh, Shi Sui Uchiha, say that five times fast, Su Chui uh, Chiha, however I said it, wait till you see how he or she kills the enemy BK just, just, I'm, don't worry, guys. I'll be showing you guys. We'll be zooming in on it. I've watched it about 20 times already. All right. So another thing that made this attack that much more special uh, is he's doing this queen walk with only three healers on his queen. So again, getting value from all over the map. Got a couple things going on. Uh, bowlers getting good value. Already took out two mortars as they were uh, bounceable. But check this out, guys. One witch... One wizard, uh, enemy BK, completely distracted, completely dumbfounded by these ground skellies. So with the witch damage and the wizard fire, goes ahead and takes out the enemy BK with only a witch and a wizard. Uh, could not believe that. I absolutely loved how he went ahead and broke that down. All right, so now we have um, Queen kind of uh, Queen went ahead and shared the jump with the BK Valk kill squad. Go ahead and. Uh, get all of his troops in this kill squad into this six o'clock uh, huge compartment where there's not only a lot of uh, defenses from that bomb tower uh, but also that inferno tower uh, so completely broke the defensive ring nowhere for his hogs to go or it's very predictable now he knows where his hogs are going to go where he does have three heal spells that he will be using um, for this portion of the attack. So goes ahead and drops on his first heal as he is taking a lot of heat inside of that core with not only point defenses, but splash and all kinds of giant bombs. Uh, poison spell down to go ahead and take care of those pesky ground skellies. And he knows he does have one more heal spell. He went ahead and saved that for uh, the Inferno Tower up at the top of the map, and more specifically, the Bomb Tower. Uh, and again, uh, the last defense only has one point defense left, which is that cannon right there. Has more than enough hogs to get through it. And he went ahead and started his cleanup nice and early. Somehow the Queen managed to survive, and he swagged the Archer Queen ability. Uh, beautiful, beautiful attack from Sui Chui Chiha from YOLO mode. Uh, I had a lot of fun recapping this war uh, for NDL Pro here in week seven. Kronos walking away with a five-star victory over Yolo Mode, bringing their regular season record to 7-0 
undefeated through the regular season and YOLO mode still with a very respectable uh, six and one record to close out their regular season. The only loss that they've suffered uh, was this war against Kronos. Big shout out to both of these clans and uh, good luck in the playoff uh, in the playoff matches. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a like. Uh, any comments, questions, or concerns down in the comments section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the...